Hello, this is Mrs. Boyd, and today we are going to learn how to use a spectrophotometer, which is the machine you see here. And the question that we are trying to solve using the spec is, what is the concentration of this unknown Kool-Aid solution? The two tools we are going to use is a spec that you see here, and also a standard curve, because the spec will only give us an absorbance value, but that doesn't tell us the concentration. So we'll put both tools together to determine the concentration. All right, so we plugged it in and it is warmed up. So you'll see up here at the top, it says live display, but we are gonna go ahead and right arrow over until it says scan mode. After it says scan, we're gonna go ahead and push the enter button and a graph will be displayed, which will be important for later. So we're gonna go ahead and zero the machine out now. So you're gonna pick up your cuvette, which is this little square shaped cylinder here. And we're gonna fill it up with, in this case, distilled water. Now we use distilled water because that is what our unknown is made with. That is the solvent that our unknown is made with. So we're just gonna go ahead and fill that right up to the line. And then we're gonna carefully look for any etchings. And sure enough, I do see a little triangle right there. And that triangle tells me which direction this cuvette needs to be placed in the machine. It needs to face the light. So before I actually put it into the machine, let's get it nice and clean with a Kim wipe. Press kind of hard and get all of those fingerprints off there. Then we're gonna go ahead and knock it against the table or the side of the machine and make sure there are no air bubbles. Sure enough, we're looking good. So let's open up the compartment, put it in with arrow face and the light, close the compartment, and then we're gonna hit just quite simply the zero bar. The zero bar just takes a couple seconds and it is shining light through that distilled water. And it is basically telling the machine that is where we are starting. That is our zero point. That is our solvent that we made our solution with. And so we'll start there. Once it has completed, then it will say zero next to the absorbance number right here. All right, so we are ready to test our solution. So we're gonna take our distilled water out and we're just gonna put it into a waste bucket that I have over here. And we are ready to put our solution. So I'm gonna take our Kool-Aid solution here, see if I can do this one-handed. We're gonna fill that up, again up to the line. It's okay if you just go a tad bit over the line or under, it's not a perfectly exact science. And again, use a Kim wipe. We're gonna get all of our fingerprints off. Press pretty hard, because oil is definitely a little bit sticky. And then, again, arrow facing the light. And then we are gonna go ahead and push the enter button, the scan button. In just a second here, we are going to have a graph appear. Aha! So hopefully you can see that. Maybe we can zoom in a little bit. But you will see that there is a graph, and that graph has a peak. So right up there, you see there's a peak. And we're going to actually be moving our wavelength. So there's a knob right here. And do you notice that it moves that line? So we're actually changing the color of light we're shining through our solution at this time until we can get it to the highest absorbance. So see that 0.52 down in the right-hand corner? Well, let's just make sure that's the highest. 0 0.51, 0 0.52, 0 0.5, yep, looks like 0.52 is the highest. You can also use these little arrow bars right here as well, and you can change the wavelength in a much slower increment by doing it that way. Um, it just settles somewhere where it is maximum absorbance. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to go ahead and record that absorbance value. So 0.52 is the absorbance of our Kool-Aid solution. And we can always kind of double check if we chose the right color uh, wavelength to shine through our cuvette by looking at something like a color wheel. So it looks like 494 was the color we're shining through. And 494 is kind of over here close to 500, which is a greenish, bluish kind of color light. And remember our Kool-Aid was red. So indeed that is opposite on the color wheel. So we do have the right wavelength chosen and 0.52 is our absorbance. 
All right, see you in the next half of the video where we plug that absorbance into a standard curve to find the concentration of our Kool-Aid.